Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a home cook and I like to share you my recipes. On today's episode, we are making bacon mac and cheese. To start off, in a large pot, boil water for your elbow pasta. Next, slice one pound of bacon into one inch pieces. In a large pan, cook bacon on low heat until the bacon is crispy to your liking. Scoop the bacon in a slotted spoon, a spoon with holes, so it can drain the bacon oil. In a saute pan, add four tablespoons of butter. Once butter is melted, add three tablespoons of flour. We are making a roux for a bechamel sauce. Once the butter and flour has cooked down, add some spices. I have some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cayenne, and mustard powder. Then pour five cups of whole milk and one cup of half and half. You can also use heavy cream. Also add a pinch of nutmeg and grind some black pepper. You will need to stir frequently so nothing will stick to the bottom of the pan. This can take up to 10 minutes. You will know when it is time to add the cheese because you can split the sauce with your finger. I have two cups of cheese, a variety of Velveeta cheese, extra white sharp cheddar, and Colby Jack. First, turn off the heat. This will help the cheese to melt and not have a grainy cheese texture. You want to gradually add one cup of cheese at a time. Next, we are making a panko breadcrumb. In a pan, add two tablespoons of butter. Once melted, add one cup of panko. You want to stir around the panko until it is brown and crispy. Back to the pot with boiling water, add a handful of salt into the water. Then add the elbow pasta. You can use other types of pasta too. Cook for 8 to 10 minutes or until the pasta is al dente. Drain the pasta and put back into the same pot. Next. Add the bechamel sauce you made into the pot with pasta. Mix all together. In a casserole pan, we are going to layer the mac and cheese. Add the first layer of mac and cheese. Next, the bacon pieces. Then, shredded Parmesan cheese.
Repeat the next layer. And then add the panko breadcrumbs last. Cover casserole pan with foil and put into oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. For more recipe videos, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel.